Welcome to our bus. We are Cody and Laura. We are the Tale of Two Smitties, and this is our Handsome Devil Tots. Tots a 2009 Bluebird Vision. Uh, we got him with about 88,000 miles on him. He has a Cummins 6.7 liter diesel engine and Allison transmission. We documented our build here on YouTube, so check us out at Tale of Two Smitties. We're also on Instagram at Tale of Two Smitties. Uh, and as we show you the tour, if there's something we miss or you have a question about, drop a comment below. Uh, we'll respond. We'll yes. tell you why we did something or, or catch you up on something we left out. As we walk through the bus, we're going to show you different things that we bought and installed. So those will all be linked below. Feel free to check them out. And again, if you have more questions, just let us know. So starting at the front of the bus, we have these drapes that we've added, put some magnets in the top, and it's a really great way to close off the not so beautiful part of tots. And they're really handy, not only at the front to keep out draftiness, but we actually use them throughout the entire bus. This area, kind of moving in toward the kitchen, is a little bit open. We will be adding a washer dryer combo. We're all plumbed for it, we just need the unit. So our kitchen build was designed with a lot of counter space in, in mind. So you'll see we have, I think it's about 11 straight feet of countertop, which sounds wild, but it does include our stovetop, our sink, and um, we extended it to go over where the washer dryer will go because it's gonna be a great spot to fold laundry if and when we do laundry here. We have six total drawers which hold everything from Tupperware, plates, utensils, to of course the junk drawer, which I'm not gonna show you. This is our Furion range. It's 17 inch RV and we love it because well, it's adorable and tiny, but also it has this built-in backsplash, which is great because we didn't end up tiling up the wall. We really wanted the openness of all the windows and we have emergency windows that open. So when I burn dinner, it's all good. <laughs> so more counter space, more prep space, and possibly my favorite part of our entire build is this big, 33 inch undermount sink. It's matte black and we love our matte black faucet. These were must haves for me. A um, little bit of a pain to install for Cody, but totally worth it in my opinion. We also have a Furion fridge. This is an RV fridge, but it's 10 cubic square feet. So it's very large. It does have a locking mechanism on it, but it very much operates like a regular fridge. And a freezer, which is totally a luxury when you live on a bus. So I'll take over for this side. Uh, I'm going to brag on Laura a little bit for some of these things. So when she did these curtains, she sewed magnets into them and we kept the metal roof and uh, metal ceiling. And it's just been really awesome. Uh, for the curtains along the side here, uh, we kind of didn't know what to do. We'd seen people do curtains that slide, curtains that roll up, and uh, we kind of didn't want to spend a bunch of money buying new curtains. So Laura actually came up with this plan and took old curtains that we had, cut them, hemmed them, stitched them, whatever she had to do. And then she uh, actually made these ties. And so we have the option to just roll up the, the gray one and leave the shears down, or we can roll the whole thing up uh, and get a nice breeze. And uh, yeah, so she did a really good job with that. She made these snaps, punched the holes, installed the snaps. She killed it. So uh, we have a little space for Raleigh here um, with, for her bed. Uh, and then our couch. Uh, for our couch guest bed combo, uh, we stole this idea from a few people that we've seen do it. But uh, anyway, it's an 80 inch couch. Uh, Laura had the, found the fabric and had them made by a seamstress and then put too, way too many pillows on the couch. But um, anyway, it looks really nice. So it's not very functional, but <laughs> it looks nice. Uh, so this actually pulls out and uh, we can lay it down for a, almost a full size guest bed and then all of our electrical batteries, inverter, everything's underneath here. Here we have our pantry, which I have to say I just love. I really wanted something that didn't look out of place and clunky, so we made this kind of seamless design, slatted wood, and you just pull on one of these, and it's opening full of food. So we have lots of food storage here, Cody can touch upon what's going on down at the bottom. And then we do keep a few books and of course some extra wire because what home isn't a home without a lot of extra wire. So uh, the electrical part's really just our distribution box. So we have a combination uh, box that has the AC and the DC all in the same box. 
uh, which is nice. We have our DC fuses and our AC circuit breaker. So that's all housed under there. We can access it under the, under the desk. So this is our office, uh, which is big enough for both of us. It's six feet. Uh, and this is where I work. So I do Zoom calls, video calls for work, and uh, I'm able to do them here. Gives us enough space and uppy bump and elbows. Also, with it being six feet, if our family were to grow in the future, it makes for a nice size bed or even bunk beds at some point. So these are our upper cabinets. We have them in three places. You probably saw them in the kitchen initially. Uh, we have them here in the office. We have a uh, my office stuff, Laura's office stuff, and then uh, a game cabinet. So uh, these just flip up. We have a nice hinges and a gas strut on them, able to keep stuff in here. Uh, and then we have a third set in the bedroom as well for some clothes storage. Uh, and so the strut also keeps them closed, kind of locked so they don't flip open while we're driving and bouncing around. Back here we have another favorite part of mine of our bus, our Cubic Mini Tiny Wood Stove. Super cute. It's If you can't tell, it's like 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches. Super tiny and compact. We keep all of our tiny wood for the tiny wood stove under here. This drawer just has lighters, matches, a little bit of kindling, all that good stuff. And to make sure that we have lots of surface area for our little wood stove, we put three shelves that we built here, kind of custom built them, and keep all of our bathroom toiletry stuff in those little bins. So one other thing that I had to have on board the bus was my little poof. It has been something Cody rolled his eyes about from day one, but it is so handy because I'm short. I use it to hop right up onto bed and our girl Raleigh also loves to use it as a little launching pad to get in and out of our bed. Welcome to the bedroom. We are actually on a queen size bed. We built it for a king size. Um, we've added a little storage on this side for Cody, which he really likes. So we're going to see how it goes and if we keep the queen or go up to a king. My side of the bed does have the upper cabinets. There's three of those. Um, two of them are mine. One is Cody's. We have a very deep storage cabinet, I guess. Just hinges up and we have all kinds of our large storage items. So there's everything from a yoga mat to Cody's super necessary Super Nintendo. We have a closet rod for a few hanging items. And we also store our towels and our linens and even more clothing. So we have no shortage of room for all of our clothes and stuff for home. <laughs> so this is our wet bath. It is a three foot by five foot full wet bath. So the whole thing's tiled. Uh, we have a shower in here. Uh, showers fed from an 81 gallon freshwater tank. Uh, we have a hot water heater that vents to the outside. Yeah, we chose to do a wet bath because we wanted a bigger space and by doing everything all in one space, uh, we were able to do that. Our toilet is a nature's head composting toilet, so we don't have a black tank. Uh, it's self-contained and um, it's actually able to be in a wet bath. It, it seals pretty well so water doesn't get in the toilet. Um, we also installed a three-way valve from the shower to the gray tank, so when we're on uh, kind of out in the wilderness, we can actually turn the valve and dump uh, our shower water and biodegradable soap on the ground in states where that's allowed. The shower head has a, has a handle, a wand that comes off, which makes it a little bit easier. It's, the shower sits a little low for me, and uh, obviously we're taking quick showers on a bus, so it's not that big of a deal, but the wand helps a little bit as well. So Laura and I both really like this uh, built-in shelf, and Laura picked out this marble that uh, sits on the threshold as well. And uh, we really like that. All right, so we installed the storage basket on the back of the bus using a trailer hitch from Kurt Manufacturing. And uh, it holds a bin of extra items, our generator, an extra Yeti cooler, and our gas for the generator. Really? Oh my gosh. Raleigh, <laughs> what are you doing? So this is the uh, fresh tank, 81-gallon uh, tank. We've got our water pump back here, uh, pumps along the side. We also have a, uh, a door on the side where it's got a, a fill for the tank and also a street pressure where we can kind of connect the hose and, and have city pressure. Okay, so a couple things I mentioned in the bathroom. This is our vent for our Nature's Head composting toilet. It does have a fan that blows 24-7 to vent out. Uh, we can close it down. It's called a mushroom vent from Nature's Head, but we can close it down when we're driving so we don't get any kind of backdraft. Uh, this is our water heater. There's a shutoff switch in here. Otherwise, uh, it's just good to go 24-7. 
So we have two propane tanks down here. They're on an automatic changeover switch, so when one runs out, it automatically switches to the other one, gives us a little bit of time to switch out the tanks. But that, uh, that hits our hot water heater as well as our Furion stove. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour. We're thrilled to be able to share it with you. We hope it inspires you in maybe your own build or your own fun project. If you have any comments or questions, drop those below. We'll definitely get back to you because we love growing and building this community. And if you want to see more from us, hit the subscribe button down below. We post a new vlog every Sunday so you can keep up with our travels.